Hey there folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a straightforward cutout effect with an inner shadow that's easy to edit. I've got a screen based document here which is 1920 by 1080 pixels and I've got some very plain looking circles. So I'm going to add another one just to show you how I got to this point. So I'll click and hold down on the vector tools there which is the rectangle tool and then pick the ellipse tool. I'm going to add a further one just by left clicking and I'll make this one 550 pixels by 550 pixels. Press return and then just move this higher up into the composition. With that layer and that ellipse now active, I'll go down to the bottom of the layers panel, click on the effects icon and then choose inner shadow. So these are the default options for inner shadow. I would suggest the first thing to do is set the opacity quite high, set mine to 80% and then hover your cursor actually outside of the dialog box over where my circle is and then click and drag and I'm just gonna drag down and that will reveal the inner shadow effect. So clicking and dragging with the mouse actually moves this around and being able to see that shadow will help us set the right settings lower down in the dialog box. So from here, we've got angle and distance. They're the things that I've just been dragging around and changing. So you can drag the dial around if you wish to, like so. Distance, well, the higher the value, the further away the shadow appears to be cast from the original object. If that's obviously a lot lower, then it's closer to the original object. And then the other one of note really in here is size, which really means softness. How soft is the edge of the shadow? If I increase that, it will get softer and softer in there. If it's set to zero, it's going to look really hard edged and almost like a silhouette. Now for the settings for mine, I'm going to change the angle to 90. I'm going to set the distance in here to seven and then I'm going to set the size to 25 in here. That's the settings that I was working with, which I'm fairly happy with. I'll then come back up to opacity and just increase that to 85 just to make that a little bit more visible. And that essentially is all that you would need to do to create an inner shadow effect. Now mine kind of look like a cutout effect. So there is one other additional thing that you could do to make it look a little bit more convincing. So if you head to the stroke option and then in terms of size, I'm going to increase that to six just to make it a little bit more visible. And you can add that stroke to the inside, the outside or the center. I'm going to add it to the center. That of course is to the center, the edges of your layer. Mine being a circle, it puts it around the edge of the circle. Now I don't want to add a black stroke to this. I'm going to change it from fill type of color to gradient. And this will give us an effect of a highlight on the lower edge. I'm going to hover my cursor over the gradient bar. That's the preview. And when I left click on this, it will allow me to change the colors and the appearance of it. So I'll go to the far right hand side and click on that white color stop and I'll activate the color box. I can click in there and I'm going to actually sample the red from the image. So if I click around here, and then going to darken that down a little bit. So I'm just going to drag this down just to make it a touch darker. And then I'll click OK. And then I'll go to the far left hand side color stop. Left click on that one, which of course is black at the moment. Hover over the color box. And then I'll change this one again by sampling from that red. But this time I'm going to make this almost white, but just with a hint of that same red inside of it. And that gives us when I click OK, those two colors. And we just need to reduce the size of that stroke now. So if I just highlight that value, I can tap the down cursor key on the keyboard and that will reduce the value. And if I set that to something like three points in there or three pixels, we get that edge effect at the bottom in there that looks like the highlight. And then we get a slightly darker edge at the top as well. When I click OK, and that will of course apply it to my ellipse layer. I can hover my cursor over the FX icon, hold down the Alt or the uh, Option key and Alt and click and drag that onto the other shape layers in there and it will apply that effect to those as well. And then finally, I can turn on the visibility for my seasonal holiday message and just move that into position a little bit better. And that's how you create an inner shadow effect, folks. Of course, when you've got those applied, you can do things like change the background if you wish to. You can even move those layers around and you know, by virtue of them being applied to the layers individually, juxtaposing your content is really easy to do. Thanks for watching folks. As always, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to create great looking artwork and save oodles of time, then subscribe and click on the bell so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, farewell.